Hello. There are two choices that you have. One, put first things first, which means have absolute clarity about your priorities. And second is, everything is your priority. Which one would you like to choose? I know. First one is your choice. Now the question is, what are all those things which need to be part of your priority list? And uh, before I share which are those things, let me also mention, only those things need to be part of your everyday priority list which have a long-term consequence, long-term implications, which are going to be with you forever. And also, why those need to be your priority? Because every action that you take towards them works like a seed and germinates into a huge, mammoth, beautiful tree over a period of time. So what are those things? First one is your physical health. Isn't it true that your body is going to remain with you till you are there? That is why it's important to start taking care of your physical health at whatever age you are. At whatever age you are, you can still start taking better care of your health. Look after yourself. And uh, there's a quotation that I came across which I'm sharing with you. It specifically mentions about younger people. It says that your choices in your 20s decide your health in your 40s. This is the kind of impact your choices about your health have over a period of time and that is why it needs to be part of your everyday priority. Second important thought is uh, your mental health. Your mind is going to be with you forever, isn't it? That is why you need to learn to implement those practices. Some of your actions have to be matching with making you mentally healthy, keeping you mentally healthy. And what essentially is required to have mental fitness, the, one of the most important things is Learn to relax. Learn to relax during the day. That's what I always say. And there are multiple techniques which you can uh, start learning and applying. So stay relaxed and make yourself mentally healthy, mentally stable. Third important thought is your emotional health. Isn't it true that your feelings and emotions are going to be with you forever? And that is why you need to start paying to them if you have ignored them so far. And what is it that is important in terms of your emotional health is you need to nurture those emotions which you want to experience more like happiness, like peace of mind, like calmness, like joy. All these need to be nurtured and they can be nurtured through your actions. Then you also need to learn to release those emotions which you do not want to be part of your life. And what are some of those? Maybe anxiety, maybe anger maybe frustration, you may be holding on to some guilt, uh, guilt or hurt, they may uh, require to be released. And very important word that I'm using in terms of your feelings and emotions is, you may need to heal some of your emotional wounds, isn't it? Next important is uh, knowledge and skill. That is going to support you forever. And that is why Continue to upgrade yourself, continue to upskill yourself and that is what uh, will require continuous learning on your part. In this world that we are living in, it's very important to stay relevant and knowledge and skill will help you to stay relevant. Next important thought is relationships. We are going to be surrounded by people forever and that is why you need to start investing in your relations. Yes, it is true that people will come, people will go. But there will be some people who will be with you for all times to come. And that is why you need to continue to invest in relations. Even people who come and go, they need to go away from your life with some positive experiences in your interaction with you. Right? And the last thought that I'm sharing is good karma. That is going to stay with you again forever. And... Uh, what is important to understand here is good karma creates those kinds of memories which you can cherish anytime. Which whenever you remember those memories, recall those memories, they give you a sense of joy. And that is why you need to continue to do that. And for that, one of the things you can do is start contributing to the world around you. Material wise, time wise, energy wise, experience wise, there are so many ways to do that. And a very important thought, parting thought that I'm sharing is, 
if you have young children in your families in your surroundings your good karma is going to create those impressions in those young minds that will support them for the rest of their lives and if you want to create such kind of uh, lives for them that is why your contribution today becomes very important so that is why i am sharing what i have shared with you is going to help you to start making your priorities absolutely clear keeping the long term perspective in mind